Now the banjo didn't come in until much later. It, some of the authorities say it was the 1840s, but the Sweeney brothers up in uh, Virginia, and it had a distinctive and important influence from the s slaves. And some people would say that it's a pretty much a, at least an indirect descendant of the uh, some of the instruments from uh, Africa. But uh, a banjo, it's a it's a a loud dancing kind of uh, of an instrument. And my granddad loved the fiddle, and he he uh, I remember as a child someone asked him. Um, how he liked the banjo, if he liked the banjo. And he said, well, he said, I like to hear it. He said, if a fellow's coming down the road on a wagon playing the banjo and I can hear it in, a di in the distance and then it gets up close and then it starts to wane and, and go away. And he said, that's the way I like to hear a banjo play, just, just to hear it a little bit and then let it be gone. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the uh, banjo and the fiddle... I think were the uh, the first wedded instruments that the first two instruments in this area that was played together. <laughs> 